you mentioned briefly that stock markets are good. From my sort of outsider perspective, is there a sense, do you think trading stocks is uh, closer to gambling or is it closer to investing? Sometimes it feels like it's gambling uh, as opposed to betting on companies to succeed. And this is maybe connected to our discussion of shorting in general, but like from your sense, the way you think about it, is it fundamentally still investing? I do think, um, I mean, it's a good question. It, I, it's, I've, I've also seen lately, like people say, oh, this is like speculation. Is there too much speculation in the market? And it's right. like, but all the trades are speculative. Like right. all the trades have a horizon, like people want them to work. Um, uh, so I, I, I would say that, um, and there's certainly a lot of aspects of gambling, uh, math that applies to investing. Right. Like yeah. one thing you don't do in gambling is put all your money in one bet. You have bankroll management and it's a key part of it. And small alterations to your bankroll management might be better than improvements to your skill. Um, so there, and then there are things we care about in our fund. Like we want to make a lot of independent bets. Mm -hmm. We talk about it. Like we're, we want to make a lot of independent bets because there, that's going to be um, a higher sharp than if you have a lot of bets that depend on each other, like all in one sector. Um, but but yeah, I mean the point the the point is that you want the prices of the stocks to be to be reflective of of how of their value of the underlying value. Yeah, like company you, yeah, you shouldn't that's... have there be like a, f a hedge fund that's able to say, well, um, I've looked at this, some data and all of this stuff super mispriced. Like okay. that's super bad for society if it's if it looks like that to someone. I, I guess the the underlying question then is, uh, do you see that the market often like drifts away from the underlying value of companies and it becomes a game in itself? Like would these whatever they're called, like derivatives, like the option, like you know, um, options and uh, shorting and all that kind of stuff. It's like layers of game on top of the actual, like what you said, which is like the basic thing that the Wall Street Bets was doing, which is like just buying stocks. Yeah, there are a lot of uh, games that people play that are um, in the derivatives market. And I think a lot of the stuff people dislike when they look at the history of, of what's happened, they hate like credit default swaps or collateralized debt obligations. Like these are the these are the kind of like enemies of 2008. And then the long-term capital management thing, it was like, it was like that 30 times leverage or, so, or something just that no one, like you could just go to um, a gas station and ask anybody at the gas station, is it a good idea to have 30 times leverage? And they just say, no. Mm -hmm. It's like common sense just like went out the window. So the, I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't respect long-term capital management. <laughs> uh, okay, but Nimrod doesn't actually use any derivatives unless you call shorting a derivative. Mm -hmm. uh, we just we do put money into companies. We and the, that does help the companies we're investing in. It's just in little ways. Um, we we really did buy Tesla, mm -hmm. and it and it did, and we were you know we were not um, we pay, played some role in in that its success. Super small, <laughs> make no mistake. But still, I think that's important. <laughs> 